Hi guys! In today's video, I have two examples of the display out from the USB-C port to the monitor. I still have to study about this part, but it looks so useful and potential. So I will introduce it, let's begin. I'm starting with the Arduino Pro ID, which is still a better version. Uh, there is no way to find the built-in libraries, so I have to select them directly. Uh, the example I'm gonna see now is simply to display an image on the screen. You can find this example from the library folder Arduino 15, Packages, Arduino Better, Hardware, Embed, 1.2.0, Libraries, Portenta Video Example. I don't know why they choose the folder name Portenta Video, but is showing only a single image. Actually, I expected to play video files from this example, but it's not. I briefly mentioned the Slim Port ANX 7625 in the previous unboxing video. It enables a mobile device to transfer audio, video, and data simultaneously. So, H7 can get power from USB C while also displaying something on the screen. The first thing this source code does is initialize the ANX7625. Also set the output resolution to a 640x480 with 60Hz. It's only displaying a byte array image to the connected monitor through the USB-C port. That's it, nothing special. Let's build and see how it looks like. Uh, this is the monitor I'm currently using. Uh, it's 34 inch curved IPS monitor with USB-C connectivity. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a 4K monitor. Anyway, <laughs> let me connect the monitor and H7 with a USB-C cable. Okay, here we are. It's showing the Arduino icon to my monitor. The byte array image in the example was the Arduino icon. The screen looks broken. The reason is that it didn't process anything other than the image. I think we need to show the parts that are not shown on the screen in black. Okay, let's move on to the next example. The second example is LVGL, which is a right and versatile graphics library. If you've been watching my channel, you will remember I created a Node application with this library in ESP32. Let's open the example. The path is a library folder, Arduino 15, packages, Arduino Vetter, hardware, embed, 1.2.0 libraries, retrieve visual uh, examples, Portenta LVGL. Uh, this example of LVGL is showing basic widgets including message box, menu tabs, buttons, wrist, and drawing chart too. In order to display out, you can see the code for initializing ANX 7625 here. Let's try to build. Select the port and board, and then build. It failed. It says there is no LVGL header file. We need to add LVGL library first. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to add third-party libraries in the Arduino Pro IDE. Uh, let's add it manually. Go to LVGL Arduino library in GitHub. Uh, there is a link in the description below. Uh, download this project. The version I downloaded is 7.0.2. Unzip the downloaded project and move it to the Arduino libraries folder. There are no other libraries because this is the first library I installed. Okay, go back to ID and let's build again. It seems like it's working. Oh, there is another error. It says LB page part scroll undeclared. I found this is changed to LB page part scrollable from scroll. Let's change it. But before doing this, let's set to the advanced mode. Arduino Pro ID has an advanced mode. This gives users more access to more features. Also, we can add the working folder. Let me add the exam folder as a working folder so I can access the lvdemowizet.c file. It seems the scroll wizard name appears to have been updated. I'm not sure if this example is old or if the LVGR Arduino library is a problem. The problem was found here. Oh, I can't edit this because I open it from the built-in exam folder directory. Well, let me copy this exam folder to my other folder to modify it. I 
I just copied this exam folder to my desktop. Delete all working folders from the IE. And then add the new one. Go to the lvdemovidgets.c file and go to write number 92. Modify the scroll to scrollable. That's it. Let's build it again. I hope this build succeeds this time. Oh, there is another problem. They can find namespace embed. I think the embed header file is missing. Let's include it. Finally, the build was successful without any problems. Let's look at the result. This is a screen of the LVGR in Arduino Pro Portenta H7. A demonstration of LVGR is running on the screen without any problems. Also, it's showing a smooth screen transition Good. I think the combination of Arduino Portenta H7 and LVGR would be a great if you need to make a sort of kiosk. It could be a great solution for your project. This is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.